Hello everybody, um, once again I was not expecting to make a video until the end of the week, but um, some sad news has come in into the world of professional wrestling as two wrestlers have died within basically a 24 hour period in the same day. Um, Steve Dull, who most of us will probably remember for his one half of the tag team known as Well Done, uh, he passed away yesterday in a hospital in Tennessee. His family decided to take him off of a life support, off a ventilator. Uh, he passed away at the age of 44 years old. He had a 20 plus year career in the business. And, you know, despite a lot of us knowing, well, he was a part of Well Done, which really wasn't a successful tag team, uh, Stephen Dahl was actually a champion in many other promotions throughout the world. Uh, he held the NWA North American and the NWA World Tag Team titles with Reno Riggins. He also held the NWA main event version of the NWA North American Tag Team titles on two occasions with Reno Riggins. He was also the Texas Heavyweight Champion, was four-time NWA Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Champion, and was 18-time co-holder of the Pacific Northwest Tag Team Championship, seven of those times with Scott Peterson, four with Rex King, four with the Grappler, and one each with Scotty the Body, who we all know as Raven, Jimmy Jack Funk, and Brian Adams, who is the late crush. Also, he held the uh, USWA heavyweight title and was eight-time co-holder of the USWA World Tag Team Championship. He had five of those eight reigns with Rex King, two with Flash Flanagan, and one with Paul Diamond, and was one half of the WWC, the World Wrestling Council, Tag Team Champions with Rex King uh, down in Puerto Rico. Uh, he began wrestling in 1984. Um, and of course, like I said, he's probably going to be well remembered for being a part of the tag team known as Well Done. Now, the more shocking death of these two, and I really don't like to say that, but it is, is... Abismo Negro, uh, the Mexican luchador who passed away last, or actually passed away yesterday at the age of 37 years old. Um, of course, if you followed his career, if you've read, he's had some issues with uh, drugs and other substances, um, but I mean, nobody has made a clear-cut, you know, decision as to why or what was the cause of his death. Um, a bit of a report here says, well, this is what happened. Andres Gonzalez, who was Abismo Negro, was found dead March 22nd, 2009. His body was found in the afternoon in the river of the town El Rosario, Sinaloa. No definite cause of death has been determined as of yet, nor has foul play been ruled out. According to a bus driver who was transporting Gonzalez and other passengers to Mexico City, Gonzalez became agitated, almost panicked, and demanded to be let off the bus despite it being 1.30 in the morning. After leaving the bus, Gonzalez found himself lost on the dark hillside, confirmed by a text sent to his wife. After the text message, his wife contacted local wrestling promoter, Vicente Martinez, who organized a search party in the morning of March 22nd, Gonzalez was found floating face down in the river. Afterward, the medical expert Jesus Enrique Castro Lopez stated that such an anxiety attack could be steroid related, but Gonzalez's alleged steroid abuse has yet to be confirmed. Um, of course, if you follow Lucha Libre, if you follow Mexican wrestling, you know him pretty much for his days in AAA wrestling. But uh, a couple year, about five years ago, he came up here to the U.S. for a TNA, a part of the World X Cup tournament, where he was on a very, very good team. A different guys, Hector Garza, Humatu Guerrero, Mr. Aguila, Heavy Metal. Um, so that was really the, the major time where he was 
a big factor in the U.S. Um, he did not, unlike Steve Dole, or Dahl, excuse me, uh, held a lot of championships. He did win the 2000 AAA Ray de Reyes. He was also the Mexican national middleweight champion and was one half of the Mexican national tag team champions with Electroshock. Um, but, you know, this is really a sad day, you know, in wrestling, and especially three deaths within a week. One was of medical reasons, Steve Dahl. Uh, the other two, who really knows, but... Um, my condolences right now go out to both Steve Dahl's family and the uh, Gonzalez family who will most certainly miss their loved ones.